It's human nature to wonder if we are alone or if someone or something else is out there. Today, Movie Spotlights presents our best pick of these alien invasion movies and extraterrestrial movies. Have a guess which would be the top alien invasion movie and comment below. Then watch to see if you are right. Ever wondered what would happen if aliens invaded the wild wild west? Well, this is exactly what we see in Cowboys and Aliens. The humans think it's demons invading, but the humans find Earth being invaded by aliens as a spaceship arrives in Arizona in 1873. We see Daniel Craig as Jake, a lone cowboy who leads an uprising against the terror of the alien invasion in the Old West, New Mexico Territory. He is a stranger with no memory of his past and stumbles into the desert town of Absolution. Jake discovers that the people of Absolution do not welcome strangers and everyone lives in fear of the iron-fisted Colonel Woodrow Dollarhide, played by Harrison Ford, a ruthless cattle baron. He is recognized as a wanted outlaw and the sheriff, John Taggart, played by Clancy Brown, got a name? I don't know. Attempts to arrest him, but Ella Swinson, played by us. Olivia Wilde, a mysterious traveler, interferes. Jake suffers from amnesia, but he has a hint from his history as he comes in the form of a mysterious shackle that encircles one of his wrists. And when the townsfolk track an injured alien that escaped from a spaceship that crash landed, Jake's bracelet inexplicably activates once near the alien ship and transforms into a weapon. Will this be the secret that saves the town from the alien invasion? Was Jake abducted by the aliens in the past? Jake slowly starts to realize his memories and this could be what saves this town. Now number 9, if you have ever wondered what it would be like to meet an alien, watch The Day the Earth Stood Still. In this epic movie starring Keanu Reeves as Kalatu the alien visitor who is a human-like alien and a giant robot counterpart of immense size and power who visits and comes to save Earth. We see a sphere from Spaceland on New York Central Park encircled by the man's puny military forces and although the US military and political authorities see him as a threat, Dr. Helen Benson is summoned by the military to use intensive interrogation Wait. techniques on him, but she gives him a break and we facilitates his escape. Why have you come to our planet? Your planet. Will this save mankind from the destruction that Kalatu envisages? The Earth survives. What the hell is that? Ever think about the chaos that would happen if aliens took over Earth? We see this in Fifth Wave. In the number 8 spot, as waves of increasingly deadly alien invasions descend, we witness four waves that leave Earth in an escalating ruin. Tessie, played by Chloe Grace Moretz, desperately tries to stay together with her younger brother Sam as a colossal sized alien spaceship hovers over Earth, being guided by an extraterrestrial life called the Others. The first wave knocks out the power on Earth by an electromagnetic pulse which disables all of the communications and vehicles and airplanes. Then the second wave, an earthquake, causes a mega tsunami. And the third wave, avian influenza strikes to kill off anyone left. Similar to the movie The Host, the aliens start inhabiting human bodies and killing off unpossessed humans. Cassie find refuge and soon the army takes over led by Colonel Bosch played by Lee Schreiber. Children are taken by bus to safety brother. as a fifth wave is imminent, but the army has been possessed by the others and massacres the adults. Cassie is shot in the leg and is rescued by Evan Walker, played by Alex Rowe, who was a sleeper agent of the others. While Cassie finds Sam before he is home. Now we have in the number seven spot, Cloverfield. As a group of friends are celebrating Michael Star David as he plays Rob Hawkins in his farewell as he's moving to Robert Japan, Hawkins. they hear a deafening explosion. An alien rampaging monster attacks the streets of New York. A gangly creature abruptly appears as all hell breaks loose in New York City as the behemoth reptile practically levels Manhattan. We witness the Statue of Liberty being decapitated, but what exactly is this monster? No one knows, you see, as it is never seen in the movie, but some would say this movie displays the devastation of 9-11 in a hidden way, as everyone is running to the street in panic as we witness buildings exploding. Much of the movie is taken from a handheld cam, conjuring vibes of the Blair Witch Project. 
taken from a shaking camera. And the movie is clever, making it seem like there is nowhere to hide from this unseen monster. Hello? In the mix, ben, Rob ben, loses ben, Beth, played by Odette Annabelle, the love of his life who is trapped under debris when her apartment collapses in Midtown. Will the group of friends be able to save him in time? Coming in at number 6, we have Ender's Game. As the aliens first invaded the world, they nearly destroyed us. So, young Ender Wigan, played by Asa Butterfield, being recruited by the international military to lead the fight against the Formics to save mankind. Earth has been ravaged by Formic insectoid alien race who are determined to destroy humanity. 50 years early in their previous attempt, they inflicted heavy losses on humankind. Now the people of Earth are banding together to prevent their own annihilation from this technologically superior alien species. This brilliant boy may just be the saviour of the human race, as he is honed into an empathetic killer as he is separated from his brother and sister and begins to despise what he learns in the hopes of saving Earth. Will Ender survive? If Earth were to run out of resources, we would just pop to the next planet to get more, yeah? We see this happen in The Darkest Hour, our number five movie, where the world changes in an instant when an alien attack devastates the city in an attempt to leech the Earth's power supply. Suddenly, everything goes dark as the aliens start absorbing the Earth's power supply to annihilate mankind. The movie is centered in Moscow, where five young people emerge from hiding and lead the charge desperately, fighting fight back to get away from the endless attack launched by a nasty, nearly invisible alien enemy race that can find and disintegrate them without anyone being able to spot their approach. They find ingenious ways to spot the alien coming in a Thomas Edison light bulb moment. Will they be able to stop the alien attack? Now we see it in the number three spot. In an oldie but a goodie, this blockbuster of its day was probably the first large-scale disaster film as ID4 Independence Day as its tagline states we have always believed that we weren't alone, especially not on the 4th of July. And these mysterious and powerful aliens are here to invade and launch an all-out attack to destroy Earth. The spectacle begins as the massive spaceships appear in Earth's skies, but wonder turns to terror as the ships blast destructive beams of fire down on the cities all over the planet. The world counterattacks, but the alien ship's super alien technology are invincible to military weapons. The fate of the world lies with a determined band of survivors who head to Area 51 to fight back against the enslaving aliens while we survive to see another glorious Independence Day. The number two penultimate pick in this Aliens vs. Human movie let the Battle of Los Angeles begin. The human race is being colonized, and when you farm a place for its resources, you wipe out the indigenous population. As a squad of US Marines led by Nans, played by Aaron Eckhart, are the last line of defense in this global invasion. The world is being bombarded by meteors as Earth is being invaded by technologically advanced hostile extraterrestrials who have landed off the shore of LA and begin killing everyone on the beach. Scientists speculate that the aliens are eradicating humans to tap into its water supplies for fuel. The marines attempt to evacuate any survivors found and deduce that aliens are intercepting human communications to attack using alien air drones as their evacuation helicopter is shot down. They escape to an extraction point and are picked up by another chopper which briefly loses power. And Nance deduces the reason is the chopper was flying over an alien command center. Nance and the team search and discover a large alien vessel hidden in the sewers while the humans take back Los Angeles. We have one more extraterrestrial movie to go. But before we reveal the movie spotlight's top alien invasion movie's best pick, let me know in the comments what you would like to see next and I will see if I can make that happen. In one of my most absolute favourite movies, the top of the list has to be The Edge of Tomorrow. In this awesome movie we see Tom Cruise as soldier Major William Cage who has never seen a day of combat but is literally dropped into a suicide mission as we see the alien race hitting on Earth in an unrelenting alien assault, unbeatable by any military unit. 
He was killed within minutes and his cage was accidentally sprayed with alpha alien's blood during the invasion. The alien's special superpower was transferred to Cage as he gained the ability to restart the day as he fights and dies over and over. That is, until Cage comes across Emily Blunt as Rita Batrisky, a special forces warrior with knowledge of That's alien time moves. What happened to you happened to me. You hijacked their power. Just come here every day and I'll train you. He helps train Cage to fight the organism and defeat the alien enemy. I think this probably gives Cage the edge of tomorrow to defeat the aliens as he has unlimited chances to succeed, or does he? Will the aliens take back the power? If you enjoyed this movie, why not check out some of the top time movies by clicking on the screen right now.